Welcome back, champions of Melk. So, Deathloop does punish death quite severely, so you're going to want a crazy strong build that'll let you wade into packs of enemies and just make a few mistakes, but you're also going to want to be able to stealth around, gather information when you need. You're going to want to be a jack of all trades. So to start off, we're going to need a good stealth weapon, because that's going to be really important early game. To grab this, go to the complex in the afternoon. And this will let you exit right by this building right here with the blue stripe leading up the stairs. You run up those and you need to hack the two turrets in here. And then you'll be breaking through the window. I already hacked that turret. You're going to need to break the window. And right on that table there is a purple version of the Limp 10 with the silencer perk that I have not been able to find on any other gun. This will really make your playthrough a lot easier. So that's great when you have the jump on enemies, but you're going to need a weapon or two for when things get loud. And my choice there is Harriet's hand cannon that shoots poison rounds. This thing is amazing, not just for the power and the zoning potential of those poison rounds, like shutting down hallways, but when the enemies run into these poison clouds or get hit by them, their AI freaks out and they just jump onto the ground or sit still and make for easy kills. So that is an extremely powerful weapon for dealing with groups of enemies or when you get surprised. Pick that up off Harriet just after the Limp 10. It will make your playthrough a lot easier. Make sure you're infusing these as well. The final gun is hard to find. It is the Explosive Bullet Rapier. Unfortunately, this weapon does not have a set drop location like the other two, but the other two weapons are more than enough to clear the game. However, this will let you one-shot turrets and pretty much everything else. It's the only gun I've found that can take out turrets reliably uh, without being able to be behind them to hit the battery. So you're going to need to look out for enemies that have that glow around them, particularly if they're a sniper enemy, and just kill them until you get lucky. They'll have that little iridium glow around them, always kill them if they're a sniper, and eventually that will drop for you. So the final trick or gun in your arsenal should be these turrets. Now turrets can be hacked and then you can hold square if they're already deployed, tap square, and then you can hold square again to set them down on the ground. These are incredible assets or you know mechanical allies, if you will, that you can put down when fights are gonna be hard and you know they're gonna be hard and you can just sit behind the turrets. The enemies generally will always shoot the turrets Throw that poison gas out there so that the enemies are crowd controlled and the turrets will just chew through everything. With the right choke points and sitting behind a couple turrets, you can kill hundreds of enemies in this game quite easily. Moving on to the slabs. Like in Arcane Studios' original title, Dishonored, Shift or the Teleport Slab is going to be your friend in essentially every level for getting into fights and getting out of fights for traversing stealthily or for just moving around quickly. However, ether is also a great one combined with explosives or your silenced limp 10 to really unleash havoc on the enemy from stealth. So the shift one is what I'd probably recommend you go in for first. Reach and airborne are the two upgrades you need to be able to do the double shift in a row. So you just spam the shift button twice. You make sure you're not jumping, because if you jump, that'll cancel it. And you'll be able to do two shifts in a row and cross about 100 feet very quickly, just like this. It is an excellent technique, but you need both those upgrades. So you're going to have to farm Charlie or get lucky with Juliana until you grab those. So shift will make sure that you're always where you want to be, but Aether, or the invisibility, slab with flicker and ghost will make sure that you're always stealthed when you want to be as long as you're sitting still and that you're able to shoot enemies a whole group of them while still remaining stealthed so as you shoot enemies with flicker it will uh, gradually decrease the power but with ghost as long as you're sitting still and not shooting you will never lose your invisibility status so this is an excellent tool for lining up headshots, observing enemy patrols, waiting for your moment while still in clean sight of the enemy. And it just unlocks so many stealth options, obviously. 
and makes your life a whole lot easier for taking down those visionaries safely. They're also a great way to sneak up on some of the most dangerous things in the game, mechanical defenses, particularly turrets, and hack them safely. So to keep these slabs active at all times that you want them, you're going to want to pair Renewable with Juiced Up. So this is going to give you a ton of extra power, or well, actually one bar of extra power, which will let you do a double shift two times and cross a ton of ground and just get yourself out of dodge or get yourself into a cool spot high up or far away very quickly and renewable will make it so that that giant energy bar quickly refreshes in just three seconds after the delay is finished the next perks you're going to want are never say die and turtle shell so these paired together give you more health and damage resistance so these each augment each other uh, and make you extremely survivable in a fight where things kind of go awry. So if enemies get the jump on you and your shots are missing a little bit, they are not going to really hurt you much. And you're going to have a ton of mistakes to, to make before the enemies have a chance at taking you down, particularly if you've got that poison gas revolver out. So hope that covers it. Uh, the next build I'm going to be showing is going to be a melee build that is absolutely unstoppable and incredibly fun, but it's a little more advanced. But the tools in this video are going to be more than enough to get you through your first loop successfully. So sub if you're looking forward to more Deathloop. Uh, probably going to get Far Cry 6 next, or maybe Diablo 2. And definitely going to be a ton of Elden Ring content eventually. So sub if you're interested in any of that. Like if the video was helpful. And please leave a comment if you feel like leaving a comment. I always read those. I'm going to answer all of them. And I hope you just have an awesome day and an awesome time with Deathloop or whatever game you're playing. Stay milky.